Parnell and Richardson. There's the records. The Kraken 31 and 0, 19 knockouts. Pitt 14, 9 and 1 with eight knockouts. And the fighters already in the ring standing by. Tail the tape, the Kraken 30, Pitt 30. And now, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. Take a look at this. Key number. Bob, this is Let's get the introduction. Six rounds in the middleweight division. Your referee once again is There Mr. are the New Jersey Eddie rules Cotton. as well, as they've been. the principles first. He's fighting out the blue corner. He's wearing the black and gold trunks. He weighed in at 164 and one quarter pounds. His professional record, 14 victories against eight defeats with one draw, eight big KOs to his credit. And he comes to us from Richmond, Virginia. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Napoleon Quick Pig. And his opponent fighting out the red corner, he's wearing the white trunks with blue trim. He weighed in at a fit fighting and ready 163 pounds. His professional record and unblemished, perfect 31 and 0 with 19 KOs. And he comes to us from Birmingham, England. Please welcome Robert McCracken. All right, boxers, obey my commands. When I say stop, I mean stop. When I say break, I mean break. All right, let's touch gloves. Have a good, clean fight. And Eddie Cotton separates the fighters. They go back to their respective corners. Bracken. Set for six. These are middleweights. The Kraken, based on his record, a good prospect. Kraken in the blue. He'll try to get his jab going. Let's see how quick he tests the body. Tempo and Nigel Collins, glad you've joined us from the Atlantic City Convention Center by way of Valley Park Place in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Coley and Pitt trying to get his jab established. Two and three up. Two and three, Campbell. Go back, Campbell. And McCracken tries to close ground instantly. And score on Pitt. Nigel, you would think that. The Kraken is aware of Pitt's record coming in the 14-9-1. He might want to test him early. You know, this, this bout follows the flavor of the evening. And the British prospect coming over being tested by the American journeyman. And we've seen in some other fights that the journeyman can actually punch back. But so far, this one has been all the Kraken. Pitt's pretty much been back in play. And doesn't look very ambitious. Why you would expect it to crack it to go to the body and so open up. Hey, you There's better the get busy. That works. Crack it may be able to read that sentiment. Yeah, come on, let's go. Etched on the face of Pitt. Or at least try to get him out of here before Pitt gets established in this fight. It's a good jab by the crack. Tries to go to work. Let's go, Right hand by Pitt. Practically leaped across the ring to throw it. That was an ambition. They saw Pitt fight David Telesco in New York. And he lost the fight, but he put up a real game show. A lot of shots and fought back hard. Taking his share of shots here. So the only question is... Will he fight back hard? Maybe after he gets some rhythm, he will. Crack is trying to take that away from him. And get off to a bigger lead. And he's scheduled six rounds of the way back. Crack is talking as Pitt fires the shots as he follows. Crack is on the bottom. Crack is on the bottom. He's gone.
Now you throwing your damn uppercut. Got, I mean your overhand right. You ain't throwing them in front of you. That throwing the damn uppercut. Um, the old, um, the damn overhand right. You two jail, right? The cracking athlete named here. Crack. The old right cross, perfectly delivered. And the gloves on the floor constitute a knockdown there by Pitt. Now watch he goes back to his corner. <laughs> Make sure he goes back there and takes advantage of the Suck count. Suck out. Little and steady. Okay. Also, give me a, give me a phone center. It's almost as if he had scored the knockdown. Going back to the neutral corner. <laughs> Round three, scheduled for six, although not the way Robert McCracken in the blue and white trucks. 
handled that last round. Polishing is holding his pitch to be a knockdown and some other big right hands. Break, get out, get out, get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. He was lectured between rounds about just firing wild punches and being pulled on the ground. Rackett loading up with some big shots. It's a wild start. Parlays it with his wild style at times too. His actions were not two big hooks for the body. Come on, Napoleon. Pitch gets hit as he fired a wild moving right hand. With pitch style, Nigel, you might get that unexpected knockout once in a while because of awkwardness, but over the long haul. It looks like nobody ever taught him how to fight. He looks strong, he looks brave, and it doesn't look like he has any idea what to do. Come on, come on, baby. Come on, opponent. Turn it on. There you go, boy. This way, baby. That was close. Get and yet the fighters come up, they try to get their big win, hope for the upset. And Pitt has walked into some shots here. Down in the second. He's very tired here. It's a little discouraged, you know, nothing's going right, but he's still trying. Game coming in. Body work here. By McCracken. Good shot to the head by McCracken. Pitt is tired here. McCracken trying to close the ground. The right hand. Wild shot by Pitt. <laughs> Very damaging if they score. On the other hand, those shots, for the most part, easy to evade. And we come to the end of round three. And the Robert Kraken show continues at this bout. Trying too hard okay. in that big shot, okay? Trying okay. too hard. Just find the guy, get him back under yeah. control, okay? Okay. Yeah. Don't load up on those big shots. Just get a little close, make it a little smoother. Slide over, cut the guy off, okay? Yeah. Now, when you land in the shots, you're stepping too far away from okay. him. You heard me stepping out okay. here, you get him off, you gotta load back. Yeah. You land the shot, stay there so you can take advantage of it. Okay? One more edge. Okay. Mm -hmm. You understand, Robert? Do a basic thing you wanna do. When you land the shot, just step back poor enough, yeah. you know, so you can take your counter shot, yeah. okay? Don't jump too okay. far away, you're taking two or three steps back. Okay. It's just the simple basic yeah. thing I want you to do. You yeah. Get a little closer, when you land a shot to the body, start putting your right hand to the body, okay? Okay. Okay? Fourth round action, set for six, Robert McCracken and Napoleon Pitt. McCracken from Birmingham, England, 31 and 0, 19 knockouts in the white trunks. Dave Bontempo and Nigel Collins bring it to you from the Atlantic City Convention Center via Bally's Park Place in Atlantic City. <laughs> Nigel, good advice between rounds for the crack that they said, when you score, don't jump back too far, just take one step back. Yeah, he has the habit of uh, landing a couple of nice punches and then stepping back and admiring his work. He wants to stay there, he's having success, he's doing it. Not jump out of to follow up, there's a good right hand, and he stayed closer that time. The Kraken's obviously a very deliberate fighter. He's, he's not going to take any wild chances. He's going to make sure the shot's there before he lets it go. Scores with the jab, doubles up with the jab again, and blocks for jab by Pitt. The Kraken able to shift. Offense to 
than the entire sixth round. Shown by Pitt. Looks like his left eye is starting to close up. And Pitt may have to wonder how much more does he want. He's been game, but how much is he not? The clock is really working. Goes to the bottom. Let's get to the point where maybe his corner should start thinking about pulling the back. I agree, because he won't do it on his own. Too much pride. But looking out for the fighter, he really should. He's looking at the volume of punches. Number of pitches. Possible box has gone down. So, they let him come out for one more round. He will soon find out if he's done at the end of round five. And it is all. Robert McCracken with one round to go. Continued to pile on the damage in round five. Two shots to the head, he's looking to the body. Any place that's open, he gets in. And with Pitt not coming back at him, he just pours it on. Perfect right, crack and jab. It was sharp and right to the point of the chin. One round to go. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear for both fighters, please. This is the sixth and final round. Pitt. Tussle. Robert McCracken of Birmingham, England, has dominated. He is 31-0 with 19 knockouts. And Napoleon Pitt from Richmond, Virginia, 14-9-1-8 oh, right, The trial horse coming in here. And this bout has played out the ground. Cracking with two jabs. Come on, Big right hand. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Both fighters now. McCracken has done everything but finish Pitt. That will put the exclamation point on the ground. Big right hand by McCracken. They should look at stopping Pitt. It's just Pitt's pride keeping it up now. That's dangerous. Any right hand staggers him. Fight, scores with some big shots, and the 
was able to stop it. Inside the head. Yeah, I'm glad Eddie caught me there. I, I think maybe that it could have finished the fight if they let him. No man said I'm okay. He didn't need it. Really did. He's got a little collection. They put the onus on Eddie Cotton, of course, but a little surprised his corner to not do something between rounds. So here you go. McCracken laying it on the big right hand early in the round and down goes Pitt. Right off the ropes back to his feet. Right back into the heart of the action but McCracken as you get another look at the knockdown is not going to let this type of situation get away. McCracken continued to apply the pressure and then it was only a matter of time and getting something obvious enough to make the referee step in. There's another good right by McCracken. Look at Pitt, hands down, looking for retreat. Missing wildly, McCracken comes right back at him. And then Eddie Cotton stepped in. So that's how it ended. Let's get the final numbers now. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, referee Eddie Cotton calls a halt to the bout. It goes into the record books as a TKO. Two minutes, 25 seconds of the sixth and final round. The winner, his record now goes to 32-0 and 0 with 20 KOs, Robert McCracken. Robert McCracken. That's it for a great game in Napoleon Pitt as well. The 32-0. With 20 knockouts, does it convincingly? And Napoleon Pitt, game okay. but out gun. Yeah, McCracken was in charge all the way. It was a good workout for him, got an opportunity to show us what he can do. Now we have to see if he can do it against a better type of fighter. And he's at the stage where you would figure that it's time for him to move up, and they may have that for him. Yeah, I mean, you know. He can fight better Stay with us, ladies and gentlemen. Our first televised Napoleon fight on HBO Boxing After Dark. Uyani Bongo and So there's Daniel a look at Robert McCracken. 12 rounds for the IBF Junior Featherweight Championship As of the world. Celebrates in the public relations spoils of victory. Once no again, for him, time for the interviews, etc. The King returns. Don King. 32 and 0 now for him. Fights here. With 20 Atlantic knockouts. City to the new Atlantic and City showed a lot of skills featuring in world this fight. champion Johnny Tapia. And the king is back. December 5th. He puts this right in the books. Atlantic City, New Jersey. 